Hey, fellas. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. We're doing a little bit earlier today. Finally. <laughs> I, I I don't like I don't like streaming super. Uh oh. No Twitch. Stop. Stop. Okay, I got it. I got it. We're good. Twitch was Twitch was yapping. I didn't realize I had the audio on. All right, fellas. So today we're gonna be doing some hatchet barb, but we're gonna be upgrading ourselves to the next lobby tier or the 399 and under club. Uh, this isn't a min max build. We're just going for some some hatchet memes. Before I start streaming though, you guys want to see something really, really funny? I, I have to show you this. All right, let's say, you know, you're like, oh, I'm just gonna, you know, gear up. I want to get some loose trousers with all attributes, right? Blue is literally cheaper than greens. You are literally paying more gold for green gear now than blue. <laughs> it is the funniest thing I've seen all day. Lace turn shoes, move speed, same thing. Blue is cheaper. I called this shit. Yeah, I called it. I told you. I told you this was going to happen. We all knew. Everyone knew this was going to happen, dude. We all knew it. We all knew it. And here we are. Here we are, fellas. Green Gear Abyss 2024. Well, whatever, man. <sighs> so silly. So silly. Hey, Mr. Coin. And hey, Lemon. How you doing, man? Well, we're going to be just having some fun here, man. I don't know if it's going to go well today, but I'm going to do my best to make this hatchet work, damn it. So, I'm going to try my best, and, well, there's really not a lot I can do besides do it. I'm, I'm going to start selling my green gear, too, because I'm going to start playing with blue gear now. Now that I've, uh, now that I've, like, exposed the system, I guess. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, start using blues instead. I'm going to sell all my greens since they're so expensive now. This is like a perfect opportunity to sell all, like all that gear I bought early on before the twinking started. You know, the uh, <laughs> before everyone started doing it. Yeah, now I can sell all my gear for stupid prices. So y'all can y'all can fend for the scraps. <laughs> you deserve to be premium price if you're uh, if you're doing it. So whatever. All right, fellas, warm up game. Hands are cold. Haven't played yet today. Just started streaming. Uh, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It will be fine. Surely nothing bad. Oh, I might. I was doing lizard bar, but I kind of want to do some leather cap gameplay. I was thinking. I want to see how expensive it is if I want to get three agility. Uh, 320. That's not too bad. I'll look into it later. I, I don't think I could always do lizard. I, I don't know. I'm not really sure if I want to do cap or not. Oh, that's a good one, though. We'll buy that. Easy buy. Yeah, you're going to start getting... I'm going to be able to get some blue gear cheap because of the BS going on right now. So that'll be fun. All right, fellas, let's do it. Someone on Reddit put together a Google spreadsheet for build configuration. Oh, that's convenient. That's actually pretty convenient. 1K for green gloves. Yeah, dude, that's it. Green glove this. Uh, I hate seeing fighters. Oh, he's not geared. I am in geared lobbies, by the way. Just to be clear, I am in the geared lobbies. I'm not twinking right now. So, these guys are just in, like, the next bracket. <laughs> I promise, I promise my gear score is above 200. I'm at, like, 350 or something. <laughs> uh, I didn't look at the sheet myself, but if, if someone has the spreadsheet, you're welcome to, uh, to show it off. I didn't realize. All right, I haven't seen it myself. You used to watch me at the very start when I were when I was leaderboarding cleric, then quit the game for almost two months. Try play again, but you can't seem to enjoy the new update. Take some time. It takes some time. Oh yeah, Dill Pickle has the uh the link to the spreadsheet. I don't know how to I don't know how to pin on Twitch. Like it doesn't let me, but well the URL's there. <laughs> the URL is there on Twitch. Hey, been watching my content. Hey, man. I appreciate it, Quinn. Glad you like the content. Hopefully, we could have some good games today. Hey, guess what I did yesterday for the first time in my entire life? I killed the Cyclops. 
with a Slayer fighter with nothing but a blue weapon. I was so proud of myself. But it's, it feels really RNG, so I don't know if I'm really gonna do it. It's too dark to fight that thing here. Can't even see. You've been waiting for what? For the Cyclops drive? Sorry, man, it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it for me. I'm, my success rate's like 10%. That's being generous. It's it's not worth it, man. It ain't worth it for me. Yeah, my, my Cyclops grind is not too good yet. I think I could do better if I did Bard. Since Bard can kill it a lot quicker, but... Sheesh, man. Oh, man, oh, man. It's a rough time on other classes. I think it is at least. <laughs> the, the range is so bad. Oh my god, if we can find green rings with plus two damage, we're gonna be swimming in cash today, boys. <laughs> swimming. time oh oh GG. dude folded like a sack of potatoes Give him much chance, did I? Hey, lose. Hey, hey, Omni. How you doing, man? And that's not bad. Good. Only it was green. What the heck? This guy ain't geared. I've been baited by his cloak. Where's his gear? True damage. Huge. <laughs> Huge. It's only one though, so it won't be as good. Still good though. You're just using hatchet for meme? Uh, it's mostly meme, but you can kill people with it. Yeah, my internet goofed up last night. I lost that kit too. I was just mid game and it just crashed it was gone was gone man i yeah, know it was sad hatchet meta i don't know if it's not really hatchet meta this is just for fun fellas feel free to try it if you want but you might be disappointed when you find out it's not this green ring with one true is not dude it's a dang he had nothing no dude green ring with one true is like half this it's like it's like middle this place in my place Hey, Epsi. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Good to see you. Alright, so I learned something last night from trying to do Cyclops a million times and dying. Uh, there's actually people that counter and fight Cyclops. So I need to start checking for uh, Cyclops uh, fighters, too. I used to never check the Cyclops boss, but I think people are starting to catch on that it's like the hot, it's like, it's like the new trendy boss to fight. So that's like a, the next step. <laughs> as soon as you try it, it sucks. I mean, it does suck, dude. The hatchet does suck. I'm just making it work as best I can. I have fun using uh, off meta stuff. That's just kind of what I do. Probably answer this, but what do you think about the new gear score? It feels a little silly. 
Uh, seeing green gear sell for more than blue feels really, really funny to me. Really. What the? Man, tumbled. All right, maybe, maybe I'll let him, maybe I'll let him be. I'm really tempted though. The tumble's really funny. <clears throat> what the? That was rude. Damn. Oh, this guy's really mean. I'm healed now. Tell you what, my Frannies will mess him up if I actually get a hold of him, but I don't think he's gonna let me f ever fight. I don't think I'm ever gonna get to fight this guy. Right. I mean, I might need to focus on this rogue here for a little bit, fellas. This rogue's gonna be a pain in the ass, I can already tell. Oh, there's mobs here. I'm so I for a second I thought I was about to get third party there. I I could feel that I could feel the party. <laughs> I can feel it in my bones. I knew it was coming. Thank God that rogue didn't decide to just like dog pile with that warlock. It could have been really brutal. Hey, King Raider, what are my thoughts on matchmaking now? So this, I think the, the, like, the silliest thing about matchmaking is just that green gear is so, 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 so expensive. Just feels like a very funny system. I think it's time for some creeping. Uh, we kill centipede. Sure, we can kill centipede. We kill, well, hatchet's actually pretty decent DPS if you can hit people. Funny enough. I should open this door if I like, if I need an exit. That's a good idea. I could fight centipede up here. Well, actually, I, I can't fight it up here. I don't have any space, do I? Not really, but it's we'll make do. Yeah, I'm in mid lobbies. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in the low lobbies anymore. We ain't smurfing here, fellas. We're killing gear players today. It's hard, to, it's hard to fight centipede on the uh, on the uh, ramps. Yeah, yeah, we're doing some hatchet. <laughs> doing some hatchet. Man. It's a fun time. I wonder where that rogue went. Hard to say. Are you technically fighting less gear players if blue is cheaper than green? I mean, I don't know. I guess that's up for you to decide, but regardless, I'm I'm not uh I I'm just playing the game at this point. <laughs> I mean, who I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> Jesus.
It's so hard to equip Granny's mid fight. It's like it's like annoying. Cause yeah, I can't press like four anymore. meme is actually good against hatchet because my range is trash nah drew is not out yet ranky was that your ass of course that's you i knew that was you you freaking piece of you dirt ball i knew it was you what other god you have tumble rope is, is, is in the game? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, what did they say the end of the month? Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. You bought that warlock a long time, did you? Where'd he go? Ran off. Yeah, the problem is I don't have reach. So like, when you tumble, I, I just don't have any range. <laughs> so it's actually, it's pretty hard to kill you. I, I, I'm reliant on Franny's. Why I started bringing more into my games. You, I need to. It already is cheaper. Blue kits are already cheaper than building greens. I showed it off at the beginning of the stream. It's really funny. It's 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 a uh, it's something, all right. It's it's something. I don't really know what it is, but hey, that's how it is. Head out of here. I mean, I'm out of blue pots. I'm out of frannies, pretty much. This is probably about like a good time to hop out. Oh, I I, I just missed that guy. That's insane. Yeah, I probably lost money that I, I I didn't make a lot of money because I spent it all on Franny's. <laughs> what? Hey, if I didn't have Franny's, I might have died. So, it is what it is. Oh wow! I I thought blew up and sold. They do not sell. Wow, there's none with Vigor up. Yeah. It is really funny that I can, like when I have a green item, I don't look for all items, I just look for greens because that's all that matters. It's so funny. Well, it's it's uh it's something I guess. It's something. If you could sell gray pots, I think they would sell for good money too right now. To be honest with you, we're just we're just in the timeline where like that currently isn't a thing.
All right. Um, what do I need? Healing. Healing bandages. All right. So Franny's, uh, blue pots, all that healing surge kit. I think I forgot the surge kit last game, but it didn't matter. Uh, magic pots. Yeah, I think we're. I think I'm good. Yeah, we look good. I inspire you to play Barb and you main Barb now? That's insane. I don't even play a lot of Barb. <laughs> I mean, my Barb's 35. I guess it is my highest level character. So I guess that's not true. I guess I do play a lot of Barb. But I don't consider it my main or anything. I play a lot of classes. A Mounty class for a while? I'm not really sure yet. I feel like Iron Will put on like Fighter would be good, but then you're kind of just playing Fighter. Yeah, I saw that there is a Google Doc on Reddit, but I, I'm I'm done. Uh, I'm done min-maxing my gear. I'm just gonna start throwing on like blues and just going in the uh, going in the um, the middle tier lobbies or whatever the geared lobbies. Just my iron and craft axes. It's cheaper. Is that true? Green axes are only costing me like forty to fifty gold a piece. Is iron cheaper? Also, I don't have quests done, so I don't think I can craft them. I just kind of neglected- I kind of neglected quests, because it wasn't multi-class. That Spear Rogue? It could be funny. I don't know if it's good, but it could be funny, I guess. Better to go geared in HR purples because lobbies are so dead. You're actually right, it would be, but it wouldn't be good for me. Oh my god, the abyss. Oh my god, we just made like three or four hundred gold. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that pays for my frannies this game. Did you see where the other streams were multi-classing? I did see some people multi-classing. I'm, I'm just not, I'm not really doing test server stuff, but that's only because I don't really feel like, I already have, I already don't have my characters leveled on this game, so. You sold a green rapier for 344. Oh, did green rapier sell too? Oh shoot, I didn't think about that. It'd be better to use a blue rapier though. Just in case someone comes up to me. Oh, wait, I do hear some noise. Thought he was hidden. He was not. <laughs> Good fight. Sure. We could call it that. He tried. He didn't swing a single time, though. He tried, though. You're playing hatchet barb you love the hatchet now dude i don't know the hatchet is kind of funny i'm an axe wielding maniac and i can probably be stopped <laughs> i can probably be stopped give it time i'll run into a juicer or i'll run into like a fighter and i'll get wrecked it'll happen Thank you. 
fighters. Right, I'm gonna check on the uh, Cyclops real quick. I've, I've decided I'm gonna start checking for this in my games now. Because I noticed more people than usual fighting. Yeah, not this game, but I am gonna start checking. That looks like a mini felling. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's a fun little thing. It's got a little symbol on it too on the right side of the axe. You see it? I don't know what it is, but it looks kind of cool. Hey, Dell, you're late. Ah, oh, you're good, man. We did. We're not. You're not too late. You missed some fun. You missed me killing Ranky though, again, for like the fifth time. He gave a good effort though. That's for sure. We had a non-melee battle because that's all this game is sometimes <laughs> just throwing stuff at each other didn't happen uh it's too bad it's recorded so oh, look. well this is a purple hatchet but the, ha the legendary ones do look pretty good Best barb weapons. Well, it's not the it's not the hatchet. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Spoiler. Class is that. It's a wizard. How did that hit me? Dude, this stupid mage does this shit all the time. It will literally leap across the stage and hit me. Insane. I hate that mage. The dumbest AI is I swear to god they cheat. Running like across the map and I still get hit by that thing. How far does it track, man? I swear, the, the mage AI is the dumbest thing in this game. Messed up. He was one shot too. Oh, that stupid that mage man. That mage screwed up that entire fight, and then I got pushed, and I I didn't have my frannies in my slot. That stupid mage got me killed that game. That's so annoying, man. Stupid. Why, man? Why, man? That stupid mage. Oh, I don't have iron will on. Oh, no, fuck. No wonder. I, I didn't know I did. I thought I had iron will. Oh, my God. I didn't even have iron will. Yeah, that makes a difference. Yeah, I thought I had that on. Did not. Shoot. Yeah, that kind of sucks. That dude is so dead if I don't get hit by that mage and I have to run across the map at like 30% speed and then wait to heal. It's just insane. Oh, goodness gracious, man. I've been hit by that mage from other people aggroing it so many times. It's not even funny. I I've lost track of how many times that mage has gotten me killed at this point. It's, it's insane. It's actually insane. It's like, the, it's the dumbest thing. It aggroes to them, and then it U-turns straight back to me. Wow, true damage is cheap on cloaks. Although, oh, well, that's because it's, it's not a good stat. 
Yeah, it's because it's not a good stat. Jesus Christ, dude. This is stupid. Why is it so expensive? Dude, what, what is this? What is this? Why is it so expensive? This is so dumb. It's so stupid. Why is it like 600 gold for one cloak? Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, well. That's kind of silly. Well, I guess you just gotta pay it, huh? I guess you just kind of pay it and call it a day. That just It just feels so dumb paying that much gold for, like, whatever stats. <laughs> like, they, they don't even have good stats on them. It's just the base roll, and that's, like, whatever. It's like, two, like, two of speed. I'm gonna see if I can find a secondary roll that's better. Answer might be no, though. I feel like the substat rolls are really bad now, I've noticed. Like, there's no good rolls anymore except for, like, maybe health? Maybe health? That's, like, it, I think. I don't think there's any other good rolls that can go onto cloaks anymore. Because speed was, like, the go-to for me. And now everything else is just bad. Uh, well, luck's useless. So, it, like, doesn't really matter. Avoid 5% health? Yeah, I guess it's fine. It's the equivalent of bigger, so that's fine. Uh, let me grab some rings with true damage. I'm, I'm just, I'm salty about that damn wiz. I'm, I'm salty about that mage, man. Because that fight was easy, easy win if that mage doesn't hit me. It's like the easiest win of my life. Because... What, like, what is he going to do? He was, like, almost no HP. Ah, that damn mage, dude. That damn mage. What are you going to do, I guess, huh? I don't know. This is all just kind of junk. Yeah, I'm going to just start trashing. If the axes aren't, like, green quality or better, they're just kind of useless. I will gladly spend hundreds of gold on Frannies if it means that I can compete in the ranged fights that we currently have in this game. <laughs> yeah, just it's just the cost of doing business. They're cheaper than they were before. Oh, protection pots are going down too because people aren't using them. Oh, that's awesome. Hold up. They, they haven't been this cheap in a while. That's a that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly pay that. No problem. Most of my pots are gray, so. Alright, I have iron will now, so hopefully I don't get wrecked by mages as hard as I did was before. Adds like almost 20% resistance, which is a lot when you're rocking 160 HP. I maybe I kill that mage, honestly. It's possible I kill that wizard. If I have iron will on. I didn't realize I didn't. I forgot I took it off for some reason. Oh yeah, because the lower lobbies don't really have uh, magic users. That's right. That's why I did that. Forgot about that one. You know, honestly, because of how uh, MR scales. You know, I'm actually, I'm curious. I'm, I'm just, I just want to see something real quick. If I throw on a pair of dashing boots uh, with move speed, how much MR do I gain from that? Oh, these are expensive. Hold up. I'm just curious if it if it uh if it's if it's at all worth it to lose vigor for this. I feel like it's probably not, but I just want to see the stats. Uh, so we go six percent. Nah, it, that's only worth it if you're stacking a lot of vigor or if, if you're stacking a lot of MR and it's just not worth it. I think to do that, it's probably a waste of uh, that's probably a waste. I'm going to say no, probably not worth doing. All right. Well, hopefully I don't get screwed by the mage again this game. God, I, I really hope I don't get screwed by that mage because that thing really 
really screwed me, man. Oh, this is additional. Wait, I need true damage, not additional. All right. I think we're good. Let's go. A, B, G, D. How you doing, man? Can you add a cloak and another ring and you're good? What do you mean? Well, I mean, we're, we're good with this build. Additional spider for barb. Well, not necessarily for hatchet. Uh, hatchet kind of has a weird swing pattern and it's kind of fast. So true damage is pretty good here too. There's pros and cons to both. Additionals, what additional was better when you could stack it higher, but if true and additional or one for one, I'd rather have true damage. Not only is the sour spot bad, but it means that when you're hitting like arms and limbs, you're doing more damage, which is nice. No, this isn't low tier lobby. Hey, Mr. Coin, thank you for the tier one sub, man. I appreciate it. Hi. How you doing, buddy? You, you doing all right? Man is uh, a copper fiend. What's the point of copper light? Nothing really. Well, this isn't low. This is this isn't low gear. This is mid gear. Yeah, no, these aren't green lobbies. These are uh, yeah, no, these are these are all geared. I mean, it does give move speed. I don't know if copper is really worth very much, to be honest with you. You know, it might be worth... You know what? What if I went for a mid MDR build for Barb? What if I changed out the gloves for runestone gloves? And then I changed out the boots to dashing? What if I feel like like I could probably get to 50% MDR. But then I'd but then I'd lose stats, so I don't think that's worth it. Like, I gain a little bit of HP against magic, but then I'm just worse against physical. I just... Uh, I don't know, man. Well, no, it just makes the fight against, like, magic classes stronger. I'm just still getting over getting violated by that uh that mage because that that wizard never kills me if that mage doesn't hit me there it's just so tragic i gotta chase them across the map with my speed i'm fast enough to like chase most players still cooling yeah the rebutra at home i would use that instead of leather cap yeah if i'm gonna do mdr i would do that i would just end up being slower I don't know if it's worth the speed loss, though. Because I would lose a lot of speed, I think. I would lose a lot of speed if I did that. Dude, these spiders just never end. Not one. It's not worth It's not even worth killing that. Yeah, I might, I might try for a mid-MDR build after this game. I'm thinking about it. Oh, that's true. You can use the Ger Germanbu, whatever that thing is called. And you can, uh, it's a little less MR, but you get the, um, you get bigger. I feel like you just, like, the move speed loss really sucks, though. 
you know? Do one tap to be a melee? Yeah, it's a wizard. Yeah, that's what Blanc Wizard does. It one taps people. Do you guys not- do you remember my video I just posted about magic resistance not scaling well in this game? Uh, I can do it on Barb, I just didn't have a build for it because I forgot Iron Will. But every other class in the game, that's- you get one tap pretty much, except for Warlock. If I'm gonna start playing in these lobbies, I should probably start, uh, mixing in some MDR. So I can improve my matchup against those players. Because there might be a lot of magic users in my, uh, in my, um games if i can get 50 percent mdr it's a pretty big deal to be honest with you oh i could trade out my necklace for a torque soul it's only one agility and i could go for magic resist here too i mean what what's one agility i bet you torque soul with true damage is cheap as hell Here he comes. If I had MDR, this guy is dead, like for free. Yeah, if I have MDR, those warlocks are dead because I could stat check them with MDR. Mm, yeah, yeah. I think next game I'm gonna trade out my uh, my kit. I'm gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do some experimenting next game, for sure. Isn't that an engaging fight? Oh, I missed that hit. Oh my god, I almost died. Oh my god, the hatchet. Jesus, the hatchet, dude. Oh, this weapon is so hard to hit people sometimes. Right past his goddamn face. God, this weapon's rough. It feels so unreliable. That's money. Hey! Oh, that's an upgrade. Phantomize looks the <laughs> baiting ritual. <laughs> the double phantomize does look really silly. I could I could wear this. There's a lot of stats. I could use that for my MDR build if I wanted to. I think that's definitely good enough to do it. Plus one and three vigor. Pretty big deal. Hatchet better than horsemen? No, not really. But I like, I don't know, I'm just kind of doing it for fun. I mean, 
I'm pretty full inventory. I could leave with this and be happy, to be honest. Like, it's not bad. Necklace of Peace with plus one all is pretty good, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I kind of want to try out this new build anyway, so. For these warlocks that I keep seeing. New warlocks and wizards, of course. Well, my goal is to sacrifice as little stats as possible and still have like 50% MDR or something like that. That's the goal. Bard builds. I'm gonna be honest, this creep change and the bard nerfs that just happened makes me not want to play bard anymore. I don't know, I just don't really see the point. The plus all nerf too, like with all gear being nerfed, uh, really hurts Bard as well. So, yeah. Made 5k. Doing lizard barb with 90. Yeah, 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 lizard barbs are everywhere in low roller. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, most of my gear got like destroyed from this patch recently. could open that'd be great <laughs> come on don't make me wait for it please yeah lizards basically pay to win now lizards like genuinely this if you don't have lizard you're really really missing out it's kind of sad but that is really the case that ranger was so close to killing me man I thought I was dead. As soon as that, that hit missed, I thought I was done, but I think he might have missed too. Dude, come on, open. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? I thought it usually opened around the halfway point, but maybe it's a little later than I was remembering. I feel like that might be the case. Worst case, I'll just sit down and wait in the storm if I have to. How do you know what your score is? Uh, using the website, you can calculate it with a calculator. And then you just kind of add your gear up. Uh, no, Lizard's not good on every class. Some classes will prefer not using Lizard. Uh, for example, Rogue, because Shadow Mask is really, really good. Because if there's no move speed penalty. But just in general, uh, Lizard's really good for like Fighter, for Barb, at least those two. And some other classes use them too. Uh, is the site still in the link? Is it still linked in my, um, in my YouTube video or did it get removed? I had it in my, I had it there yesterday, but I'm not sure if it's there today. Yeah, there you go. Yep. Sir Lance got you. Let me get out of here. All right. It's time to try to see if I can build some kind of hybrid MDR build to try to like focus on these uh warlocks and wizards that are in these games oh yeah i never oh yeah i never did find this guy forgot about him i don't think it's based on zone i think it's just whatever i think it's just whatever order they feel 550 for gloves that's so dumb yeah i think it's just whatever order like they feel like opening i don't think there's any rhyme or reason i think to just have like a random time
I should probably- I need to start just dumping my explosive bottles. I have too many of them. What are they selling for? Uh, let's see. About 70 a piece. Maybe 80. I'm okay with, like... Thanks. So this has been here for- oh, yeah, but that's a- that's a poor quality one. Yeah, I don't know. I'm okay with- I'm okay with, like, 70 per for these, just to get them out of my inventory. Just taking up space. And I don't- I don't need them on barb. There's really no need. All right, fellas, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting here, and I'm gonna see if I can find a um, a mid like a mixed MDR build that will help me win against warlocks and bonk wizards. Because if I can build MDR, that's good enough. It's possible that those matchups become like W key fights, uh, but I need more MDR. So the first thing I'm gonna grab is probably a Torque of Soul. We'll try epic first because we need we need that we still want the true damage or we could do additional if it's cheaper 200 gold that's really not bad yeah I'll, i'm good with that no one's using these right now so that's just free and it's one agility like who cares whatever i i can i can lose one agility that's fine all right, so next would be, do I want to get rid of the dashing boots? I don't know if I do, but I could consider it. All right, so that's going to put me at 34. So I think the goal is I want to be at 50%, I think. If I can be at least 50, I'll be content. So yeah, we'll, we'll try dashing boots next. If I can find a double roll, that would be better. I'll check to see if I can find a double roll. I can't wait till they add double filtering in this game. Can't come soon enough, man. Hoping to find double speed roll. That'd be preferable. But it's... It, it is a challenge finding them, unfortunately. I, I just don't see any. I mean, it's double speed, but it's it doesn't really make much of a difference. It's fine. Maybe we'll just grab something with, like, a health stat or something, and we'll just call it a day. We don't need the double speed. I mean, it'd be nice if we could, because they're boots, but I guess because of the recent change, all uh, double speed boots are expensive. Like, it doesn't matter if they're, you know, dashing boots, which aren't inherently great right now. Yeah, it's fine. We'll, we'll pay. We'll pay the money for the uh, two vigor. For the, for the, for the memes. All right, that's 41%. Uh, next, we'll probably go with the runestone gloves. Probably gonna want to go agility, I would think. This is why people don't do this. We're literally losing 10 HP from this. Insanity. It's insanity. It's so much. All right, and then lastly, uh, the, well, we could, I could put on the chest piece. I lose 3% speed, but I gain a lot of health, but that's a lot of speed. It's a lot of speed. I don't know if I want to lose that speed. Uh, what is it? The Jermunbu? Is that what it's called? No one uses this thing. If I can find one with three agility, maybe it's worth using. Oh, you know what? I, I don't want to... I can't... My gear score can't be too high. Uh, because I don't want to be in the higher tier, because I think the lobbies will be dead. So my gear needs to be, like, in the middle kind of deal.
So, like, I lose a little bit of speed, but... I do get a little bit of headshot resistance. I lose 1% speed, but that's going to pop me up to 53. So, 53 is pretty good. I don't know if that 4% is worth the uh, speed loss, though. 1% speed. It's like, meh. It's kind of whatever. 1% is pretty good, but... 53 is pretty good. That puts us at effective 300 HP for this, which is not too bad. No, no, because consumables uh, add up really, really fast for this. So you you do still have to be careful of what you're building, or you'll get you'll get shoehorned into the higher lobbies of like, the, you know, the ones that are like basically dead. <laughs> also, like Francisca's and stuff that I'm buying, all kind of attribute to that as well. The whole point of this build is just to see if I can scale my magic resistance enough for it to make a difference. What is the white, uh, what is, what is my MDR if I throw this on? 57? That is a really big difference. Maybe we just take the move speed loss. We could do that. We really could do that. Could consider the Barbutua Helm as well. Yeah, I, I, um... I'm not sure. I'm not sure. The vigor is kind of nice. I think maybe I think 57. I feel like is pretty good. If I if I throw on the if I throw on the uh whatever it's called the um whatever the hell it's called you know what I'm talking about the Barbutua Helm or whatever I do get ten I get I do get ten more magic resistance which would probably be like three percent. I think that puts me at sixty, but I do lose the vigor here which is just objectively worse. So I don't know. I, I think this is okay. I think it's okay. All right. So the question is, am I, I, I don't know. Hold up. Give me a second. I just need to make sure that my, um, give me one second here. I just, I just need to confirm that this build is okay. Gear score wise before I go, unfortunately, I, I, I don't really have a choice. I have to, I have to do it. Because if I go too high, my lobbies will be dead. So. This is just, uh, it's just, it's just, it is what it is with this system, man. So give me a sec. So 16, uh, 40, 56. This is so silly, but I have to do it. If I, if I don't, it would be not great. <laughs> uh, plus 60. Uh, the rings are green, green, purple. 36. Yeah, I don't I don't think I have I, I don't think I've gotten it man I'd have it, it's a lot of I have a lot of utility like the axes alone are 72 points to give you an idea it really does add up very quickly 54 uh this shouldn't count for anything uh these are 18 uh this is 24 this is another nine. I'm almost above 400 now, but I'm not quite there. So this is this is acceptable. Uh, I am good to go. I'm, I'm good to keep playing the game. We are good. Utility, of, the utility is literally almost doubling my total gear. It's crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I think it's crazy. <laughs> All right, fellas. I think we're gonna go with this. We're slower. Oh, search kit. Oh, thank you. Jesus, thanks. <laughs> I almost forgot. You're a blessing. You're a blessing. I almost forgot that one. I gotta change my perk too from Savage since I don't have that anymore. Uh, I'm just curious. If I buy a Barbutua Helm... I'm just... I'm curious what the... Oh, it's less move... Well, we lose more move speed though. I mean, it's fine. 57% is a pretty good magic resistance point. I, I think this is acceptable. I think this is probably okay. You know what would be really funny? What we could honestly do if I really wanted to double down? I could forego plus one all. And I could just go for the magic resistance instead. It might be a little silly. 
But for this build, being that we're tailoring ourselves towards that, honestly, this might be worth it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> or, you know, it's kind of it's kind of silly. There you go. We'll have health too. Yeah, we're, I'm going to do this just for fun. For the lulz. So we're at 59 now. Yeah, okay. Heck, you know what? At this point, we might as well just go all in. Get that 66% and just like steamroll. That'd be what I think. Yeah, I can't resist. 61, 59, 61. All right, this is probably about the point. Okay, you know what? Looking at the stats because of the HP that I lose, I'm not going to use this. All right, fellas, I think we're good to go. Uh, nothing really changed. Yeah, we're good. Hopefully this works. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Okay, yeah. So uh, my gear store is good. Uh, that's true. I could get Will for a little more, but it's okay. 60% is a pretty good point. I took off Savage, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Well, I can't go for magic resist on the rings because I need the damage. The only downside is I'm about 4% slower than the other build, which is actually a really big deal. Uh, it makes me a little nervous. I'm going to be honest, this probably isn't good, but we're doing it for fun. <laughs> yeah, blue rings can have both, but those are real. Those are probably really expensive, and then I'd have to do double filters, and those are really annoying to find in Marketplace. Until Iron Mace adds two filters to Marketplace at one time, it's just not really worth it the time to look for double rolls for me. I just don't do it. You know what's sad though? This build's better against Matic users, but like bards and stuff, it's just worse. Like I'm strictly worse against those classes now. Rogues too. Wait. Oh, I think I got this one. It's true, Magic Resist is not a premium stat because, like, almost every class in the game can't utilize it. worth anything i feel like it's not I feel like if it doesn't have plus all stats it's useless or armor merchant goal right yeah have you all the leggings are kind of well oh god there's a nightmare mage there no thanks fighting troll so i think i'm gonna go and see if anyone's going to cyclops I'll, i can always come back here later i told myself that i'm gonna start checking cyclops more because i kept getting third partied yesterday trying to learn cyclops so people are are actively going there more often so i think it's probably about i think it's probably a good play Well, you know, with the armor rolls being nerfed, uh, leather leggings don't have as much value anymore because only, like, fighter can basically build good PDR. It's the same difference with uh, barb and, and magic. It's the same thing. I don't like that they nerfed the uh, armor rolls at all, to be real with you. I don't think it should have been nerfed. Not again, at least. That's for sure. 
I thought we were in a pretty good spot where like most classes could build like 50%, but here we are. Why hatchet? For fun. For fun. I don't really have any reason for this to you besides that one. They buff hatchet? No, the hatchet has not been buffed to my knowledge. I guess I'm just stubborn. Yeah, for the meme, sir. For the meme. Say Gasper. How you doing? I don't think anyone's doing Cyclops either. It got buffed. I mean, it might have got buffed, but like it doesn't. It's still not good. Going on a date? That sounds fun. Play it was good. I make my own meta items, man. Like the, the fighter build and that warlock build. Like I feel like everyone copied me and then they became meta. And then people were like, oh, well you're playing meta builds. I'm like, well, no. No, like I am, but people literally copied my builds. So like, what do you want from me? I don't I don't think the hatchet could ever be copied uh, to be considered meta. I think we're safe. This weapon is not meta material. Yep, yep, throwing axes do count. It all counts towards gear sewer, man. Oh, double axe? I just don't, I just don't really like the double axe. It's too heavy. Too much move speed loss, you know? There's everybody. As I actually gave him. It's not, it's not too bad. You know those don't stack, right? Goblin? Dude, he just got. Dude, that's literally what happens to me all the time. That goblin came out of nowhere and headshot him. Unlucky. Wow. Un freaking lucky, buddy. Wow. Imagine. Guys, mining on cleric. Oh god, I hate to see it. Oh my god, fifteen armor, green buckler. Oh my god, it's bis. That's probably three hundred gold, I think. Damn. Let me get that green. Now nah, he wasn't a one without the goblin. He didn't hit me once, but the, it didn't help though. Yeah, I don't know what the hell that rubber band was. I thought he jumped off and he did not jump. Oh, the questing. Is there a quest to get iron ore?
You saw one for 332? Did I bet I bought it? I probably bought it trying to mess around. Oh, it's going down. Okay, someone's down here. Come for me. Good thing I'm built for magic damage, huh? Let's see if this works. Pickled. My mad science paid off. He did no damage. It works! <laughs> the wizard couldn't do anything because I built MDR. My other build would have got shredded. Oh my god. Okay. Sorry, you had to see that. Sorry. I, did, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I don't think gold purse counts for anything for this. Um, we might as well do the last hit on here. It's like one hit. Yeah, let's just, might as well just check just in case. Is MDR worth it? Um, barb, it can be worth it. I mean, you just, I just like completely stat checked that wizard because I built MDR. He had like no chance. Damn. Had to try though. Had to try. I don't know if, um,. I'm not sure what blue crystal swords are selling right now. You know what? I will take that because I considered doing questing on my barb. So I will take that rusty sword because they're pretty rare. Hey, I'll attribute on that. It's pretty good. Um, hold up. I need to figure out what gear I want to keep here. Cloak is really good. Trousers are good, but I don't need to keep them. Or if his powers, because they're blue, like it's whatever. Wait, I should check the door real quick since I'm sitting here. I'll grab that. I'll check the cure too. Have to check. Had to check. Oh my God, Skinny Pete. Thank you for the 170 person raid, dude. Jesus. God damn. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. It's insanity. Hopefully your raid went well, man. Pete, I wasn't sure if you watched. I didn't know if you knew. I didn't know if you watched my content or not. I've watched your content, though. 
I've indeed watched your content, man. I like your I like your uh your lizard bar of gameplay. I think I've mentioned you on stream at least a few times at this point. You seen the funny cleric videos? Yeah, yeah. Dude, the hatchet's so fun. Pete, um, I know that you usually run, like, I know you're just always running lizard skin, so you probably always just move, like, move speed and, uh, Zwei. Have you considered doing a light MDR kind of build? So I'm sitting at 3... 302 Musu, which is kind of slow, uh, but I'm at 60% MDR, and I just completely bullied a wizard who just did, like, 5 damage per magic missile, and it felt kind of funny. Have you done this? Do you think it's viable? Oh, did you make a video about it? I didn't realize. Oh, shoot. Just good to go. Get out of here. You ran into me at 30.30? Yeah, I was up pretty late. I was I was doing some messing around on my uh, on my fighter, trying to kill Cyclops. It is just don't really need magic resistance most of the time. Yeah, that's kind of the problem, because I feel like if you're going to build magic resistance, you have to give up another stat. Something has to be given up, you know? You don't get MDR for free. So if you want MDR, you have to lose move speed on your helmet. You have to lose move speed or, uh, you know, vigor on your gloves. You lose vigor or whatever on your boots. I feel like you just lose... I, I don't know. I feel like you just... Every single piece of gear that you add magic resistance to it all just kind of slowly trickles down to reducing your movement speed, and it makes it pretty rough, so I'm not really sure. You play with no perks? That is hilarious. You died six times in five hours? Yeah, I would say for no perks, that's pretty damn good. That's that's very good for, for no perks. Kind of insane. Uh, Pete, have you seen the, uh, have you seen the prices of green gear right now? The, uh, the blue gear is currently cheaper than greens, and I think it's really, really funny. Like, genuinely cheaper. I, I, I almost couldn't believe it, but it is indeed true. Actually, I'm gonna, I'll pull it up, because I'm, I'm curious if it has, if it's changed. I went to pull up some loose trousers with, uh, all stats, and I just could not believe Okay, so there's one green, but most of the blues are just cheaper. I guess before it was all blue and then like some greens. I just I just think it's so funny. Everyone's trying to smurf these lobbies. <laughs> it's so funny. Show stats? Yeah, yeah. So we're sitting at 302 move speed, which is a little slow for Barb, I'm gonna be honest. But we do have 60% magic resist. So in theory, I should be able to stat check warlocks and wizards. Uh, so it really just depends on how many we see in the games that we're playing. That's really the big deal. Uh, 160 HP, which is pretty good as well. So with 60% or effective HP against like a wizard or warlock, should be roughly 400, which is pretty good. It's it's just a matter of, can we catch up to them? Whether that be Francisca's or, you know, we got to hit that Achilles strike. That's really the big deal here. I know Pete doesn't really use Frannies, but I feel like you... I, I don't know how you play Barb without Frannies, unless you're using, like, Zwei move speed. You're so reliant on that damage, because most people don't fight you in this game, in melee. You, ha you have to do range. At least that's my experience. Yeah, I should probably bring torches, honestly. I, I don't know why I don't have them on me. I'll, I'll bring two torches. Yeah, I should probably, I, I probably should use torches just to keep people from running. You mean today you just took it absurdly this time? Wait, are you saying you took a lot of Frannies in your fights? I don't blame you if you did. I don't blame you at all. If, if that's the case. No rage abilities or perks on Barb was good practice. Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, if you can kill people with no abilities, then in theory, you should be able to beat pretty much everybody. Zero Frannies? Zero? That's insane. That's insanity. You killed people for five hours. 
And you didn't use any for Annie's? Or do you mean your perks? Oh, okay, you just ran at them? Yeah, that's good, man. That's insane. Alright, uh, let me just do a quick uh, vendor. There you know, do a quick merchant run. Sell some of the stuff I just got and we can move on from there. Green Oracle robe, 400 gold. So it's crazy. I, I cannot get over it. I bet you this buckler sells for 300 gold. Unless the, uh, unless for some reason people started grabbing more, but for 15? Okay, I guess it's cheaper now. Well, not really. It's just that these aren't selling. I'm okay with 200 gold. I feel like 200 is pretty, pretty okay for this. I, I just need to sell stuff. I don't I don't need to min-max everything. It's just not necessary. I also realized that plus weapon damage is probably more valuable than it was before on low tier weapons because it means that you can like smurf your gear to be lower, which is kind of insane. Hey, Trash Daddy, thank you for the tier two on YouTube. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, man. Hey, Dan, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Love the vids. It makes you want to try a melee lock build. Oh, man. The melee lock is so strong, man. If you do it, you won't be disappointed. I tell you what. It's very, very strong. All right. Uh, Franny's. I'm just doing a quick count. Make sure I don't forget anything. Franny's. Pots. Yeah, we should be good. Let's go. You showed Reckless in today's video with a setup build. You had zero downside Reckless. Well, the downside... Well, the only way you have no downside is what? With the... Uh, it has to be that perk, right? The perk that gives you armor. Because I can't imagine what else you could possibly do that would make Reckless not, like, kill you instantly. Unless you're building a lot of armor, it's got to be one or the other. Carnage and Lizard? Yeah, that's what I figured. I figured it was Carnage. Isn't that... Is Carnage the perk... Is that the perk that gives you armor when you kill somebody? I, I don't even think I've ever used Carnage before. Carnage and Lizard's all it took. It's interesting. People don't know. Does Carnage have an as? Wait, Carnage works on PVE? What? <laughs> what? It does? That's insane. Since when? Since when does it work on PvE? Always has? I, I've I've never used I've just never used it. How long does it last for? I've never even looked at the perk. I just saw it and I just assume it's a meme and I moved on. How how many seconds of time does it work? Yeah, yeah, I'm on, uh, yeah, guys, on YouTube. I'm on the uh, Twitch and YouTube at the same time, so you're probably hearing me ramble. I'm talking to Skinny Pete over on Twitch. Carnage, best perk. I never even considered Carnage, man. It doesn't specify players? I just assumed. I think a lot of people assume, man. I think if you were to ask every player that plays this game, more than half of the people would say, yeah, it's only PvP. Yeah, I never consider that. They yeah, just have the, the spiders follow you and you can kill them for free armor. That is really funny. I never considered that. It feels like the only way Carnage would be usable would be if you have mobs follow you constantly. I guess you kind of have to do that, right? one that heals you on player kill it specifies players i guess that's true in my defense though iron mace is not known for their descriptive nature on perks and skills things are very lost in translate 
as far as that goes. So, in my defense, I, I, I don't, I don't take the descriptions literally in this game because that's you know it just it really doesn't. They don't follow exactly how they all sound. I feel like. I could probably show you examples of it, although I guess they've changed. But, like, the old perk descriptions definitely used to just, like, look very, very strange. You're stuck with PoE logic where words mean what they say. Yeah, I just kind of, yeah, I don't have that. I just don't have that mindset for this game. Yeah, so I guess you just, yeah. I mean, you take three spiders, you have them follow you the whole game, and then you get free armor. Could work. Might be kind of annoying having to keep spiders on you like that, but... Yeah, it could definitely work. You'd have to use Crush. Because you wouldn't be able to open doors with those spiders unless you have Crush. But I can't imagine... Like, Barb not using Crush is kind of meme. I mean, I'm I'm memeing because I don't have a secondary for a two-hander. But in theory, like, I should definitely be using Crush for the secondary. That's true, yeah, no downside for magic. Well, the only magic that has any armor is, uh, like, PDR Warlock, right? What magic you- oh, I guess- I guess Cleric. But Cleric's hitting you with physical a lot of time, though. And Clerics also don't really exist. So, what magic user do you care about having armor? Or, you know, what- I don't really know. I feel like the answer is really none, right? It's just demon- it's just demon perk Warlock. Oh, that's just bad. Yeah, I think the uh, cloaks now without stats are just useless. I will probably just drop that because I'm pretty confident that's true. With recklessness, why you one tap P PDR fighters in the head? That's insane. It makes sense though. I mean, they have no armor, and this Y does about 100 damage a hit. Yeah, I would not want to fight you on my PDR fighter. That's for sure. Dude, I am really surprised that, uh, I'm very surprised that Francisca's don't give you more trouble on barbs. I don't know if it's that you're good at dodging them or if barbs just suck with their frannies. But frannies do so much damage with the axe perk and additional, like, damage scaling. It only takes, like, two or three frannies for you to lose, like, almost your entire health pool. You just dodge them. Yeah, maybe you're just better at you maybe you're just built different. Yeah, Royal Cubs, run an early stream today, man. How are you aggroed? This got one is the strangest aggro in the game, I swear. Right up there with that centipede on that bottom floor where the hell shrine is. When you play Rogue, you just die to two Frannies. Well, yeah. Rogue has no HP. At all. Hey, Lucas. How you doing, man? Hey, what do we got? Hey! This is what my build's made for. For warlocks. If I die to this guy, then shame on me. Wait, where's my magic pots? I don't have any magic pots because I'm stupid. I should be able to stack this guy. Yep, yeah, as I said, BOC doesn't even. I, I, yeah, it doesn't even matter. I was like, yeah, we'll just take the VOC. Who cares? What? Where'd that arrow come from? Through the door? Yeah, Christmas or Warlock just gets wrecked by this build. It's really, really funny. And deserved. Super deserved. 
Oh no, it's not that BOC is weak. It's just that my build did its job. It protected me from the magic. Like the whole point of this build is he even geared. True magic. He's a little true magic. It's nothing too crazy though. I would like to try it on like a more geared player. He would have been better off using his falchion to be honest with you. You died a goblin with a hatchet twice? Oh, oh lion. Don't, don't say it ain't so. You died a goblins with a hatchet. Sorry to hear about that, man. A mini melee maker. How you doing, man? Good to see it. Good to see it. Oh my god, don't say it out loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. We got a ranger below. Wait, that's a different door. Wait a minute. Are there two people down here? Oh, you're up here. I would have been I bet you I die if I don't have magic resist. Oh, it's so good. My my revenge against that stupid bonk wizard because I changed my kit. Oh, it's beautiful. I love magic resistance. I love it. Dude did no damage because of my build. He almost had yeah, he almost had me. Now I gotta see his gear. Damn he's geared too. I don't even need magic pots. True, kind of true. Oh my God, that's money. That's big money, Jesus. Please sell, I'm not sure. I need to like not stare at this body too long so I don't get snuck up on or anything like that. Has this happened before? <laughs> it has happened before. This is why building specialized builds is so fun to me. Because when you build against a certain like archetype, such as magic or barb, and then you do fight those players, you're like, oh, I just auto win. Yeah, I know that ranger's downstairs. Honestly, though, I'm pretty full on loot. There's really not a whole lot. There's really not much reason to fight that guy. I can probably just leave happy at this point and be fine. And it's a ranger too. That we don't. This build is not good against rangers because I'm so slow. If it was a wizard or something, yeah. But ranger, we're so slow. Yeah, I'm about sixty percent speed, or sixty percent magic resist. I mean, not speed. Yeah, I think we just try to secure the bag here. I think that's the play. These are some good boots, too. You have 60 PDR, 70 PDR, MDR Barb. You want to see if I'm interested in trying it. You don't play Barb anymore. I don't usually take viewer kits, to be honest with you. Hello. My man is looting the scraps. Oh, he looted the scraps and ran. Dude, that is such rogue behavior if I've ever seen it. That is such typical rogue gameplay. That's so funny. 
He's he's actually RPing as a rogue in real life. Fizz damage do I have percentage wise? It's not great. It's like 5%. You don't need it for the hatchet though. The hatchet I'm stacking true damage so it's not too big of a deal. It's kind of the same uh, like idea that it's the same idea of like the rondell dagger. You don't need the fizz power. It's nice to have, but you know, for this build particularly, you don't need it. It's okay. There's three people in this room. We have Ranger downstairs. We have this guy over here and that rogue who is, who knows where he is. Is he oblivious? Hold up. I'm going to creep up to him. I, I just feel like this would be really funny if he doesn't notice I'm here. Does he see me? My guy's slow walking. He doesn't know I'm here. This is like this dark and darker gameplay. There's someone above. Oh shoot. Oh god. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What do I do? <laughs> what do I do? Oh, okay, fine. Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm out of here. Leave. Run. Oh my god. Give me that health shrine. Damn it, I missed. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. This game is insane! Get me out of here! Need a heal! Bro, magic resist for the win that. That uh, warlock did no damage. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, we're good! Oh my god, we're fine! It's fine! Jesus, man. What a mat, what a, what a fight! What a fight! I don't know how we live that, but we take that dub. We take it. GG's. Yeah, everything's just literally on fire right now. I have two bodies to loot and mobs to kill. Hopefully these guys are weak. Don't tell me there's more people that I'm not gonna get the. Body, so we gotta go. Sorry, we can't loot those bodies. I'm being bullied. Being bullied by a PDR fighter that 
has a long sword, so I can't kill him. Damn it! Take the loot, you piece of garbage. No way I can kill this guy with a hatchet. I get parried. God damn it. All that work just for that third, just for the fourth party to come in and say, yoink. Unlucky. Unlucky, man. Oh well. It was still a good game. A little sad, but. Alright. See, that's like one of those things the hatchet's really bad against Longsword. So there's really not much I could do there to fight him. It was basically an. I lost at the start screen before that fight even started. Oh no, he probably doesn't know the loot's there, but. I mean, what am I gonna do? I mean, I, I can't. There's really not much. I mean, I can't fight him, so. It is what it is. Alright, I should probably sell some of this stuff real quick. That's fine. Wait, was that true damage? Well, it is, but if I'm trying out these builds with magic resist, I don't really need it. I could probably just sell it instead. If that was a green, it would probably sell for like three times the price. But it's okay. He chased me to static. Yeah, that's true. He probably won't. He probably won't even have. Well, he should have time to loot those bodies. I don't think he knows they're there, though. Well, cloak prices are plummeting, aren't they? This is insane because everybody's smurfing and they're not using cloaks. Oh, God. Yeah, I guess that's a thing. huh? I guess that's a thing. These aren't selling either. Oh my god. Yeah. I guess that's just how it is, man. Will this sell? Maybe. Maybe a warlock, but... I'm not confident this is going to sell for anything. Nope. 100 gold. Green lace turn shoe boots sell for like four times the price i already sold like four pairs of lace turn shoes for this price it's just insane somewhere you can trade people full gear sets i wish technically you can do it in trade channel but good luck doing it man it's got to be a really really good set for anybody to catch your attention it depends on like how good of, it depends on how good of a kit it is if it's if it's really good you can definitely sell it it's just a matter of you know is it good enough for that i'm not sure Oh, was the price covered by face camera? Oh, it was, uh... Oh, my bad. My bad. Wasn't thinking about that. Alright, fellas. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. I'm gonna use the restroom, and then we'll, uh, we'll keep going, alright?
Uh, yes, I am playing above 200 gear score. AFK stream song? What? Did I miss something? Maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure. Alright. Uh, are we good? I think we're good to go. Yep, we keep running it. Longsword Fighter is definitely my counter, man. Longsword Fighter is tough. The hatchet's so bad. It's so easy to get parried. By the way, did you see how many times that Warlock hit me with uh, Curse of Pain and I just took like no damage? I think he hit me with eight Curse of Pains and I still had like 40% of my health left. If that doesn't <laughs> convince you that MDR is good on Varv, I don't, I don't know what will. Rangers are tough though. With uh, with just because of my low move speed. Yes, I am using yeah. Uh, Radiant, you cannot build decent magic resist without Iron Will. You cannot do it. The reason, uh, uh, unless you're playing Warlock and you have the 25% uh, perk, the reason is because of how MDR scales. The scaling only gets good at the later end past i think it's around 200 magic resist oh you saw my video then you already know then you already know radio yeah yeah unfortunately the way magic resist scales in this game is just not good uh so only barb and well warlock get to do it These are geared lobbies, by the way. I'm not seeing a lot of geared players, but I am in the geared lobbies. I love seeing Warlocks when I'm running this build. I love it. If I lose to a Warlock, then just shame on me, I guess. You hope they have the 75% cap for that at least? Uh, for what specifically do you mean? Oh, 75% MDR? Yeah, no, I, I understand what you mean. Getting 75% with no MDR gear is stupid. Well, you can't really do that. You you need MDR gear to get 75. Unless you have what? Unless you get Iron Will and the uh, Warlock perk combined for multi-classing, that, that could make a pretty big difference. Right now, our magic resist is 60% Dragon Star or Dragon Slar. No, gear scores on live. I'm, I've been playing live servers. Yeah, having Warlock magic resist perk alongside Iron Will is a little bit insane because it's like a, it's literally just free. Barth have to do a 70% PDR fighters. We do, we do. The bane of our existence is 70% plus PDR fighters. How we were dealing with 85% not long ago. Oh, Radiant, are you the one who made that Reddit post with the gear sword calculator? Shoot. Oh yeah, you fellas on uh, you fellas on YouTube. If you don't mind liking the video to help the mod after the stream goes offline, I'd appreciate it. Makes a really really big difference. So. Thanks in advance. Gotta ask at least once. Probably gonna head towards Troll. I don't see anybody here. This is not... Okay, let's go for Troll. I would play test server, but I didn't have to grind levels for it. It's too much grinding that I would rather just play live server. I mean, I guess it's content, but this is also content. Hatchet barbs are really funny. Is that the crystal sword guy? Yes, please. I should be able to kill this guy. Probably tank his BOC. 
Wow, he still did a lot of damage. I was like, yeah, we can tank his BOC, it's fine. I was right. <laughs> we still took a lot of damage. It's okay. We killed him. That's what matters. Well, without MDR, I would never have done that. I would have started spamming axes. I just kind of, it was more of a test. I wanted to see what, I wanted to see if I could kill him straight. And uh, you can. You indeed can just kill him straight, even though he has good gear. Oh, he's, I think his gear is good. Wait, he killed somebody already. Already? We just started. That's a piece, huh? Oh, wait, this is like almost worthless, but I guess I can just drop it. I don't, I feel like, I don't, I don't know what, I don't know what gear is good here. I don't know what is worth taking because like values are so bizarre right now. Yes, this build straight counters and I didn't even, I didn't spam for anys. I didn't even wait for his BOC to go away because I wanted to see if I could kill him. And guess what? I can. <laughs> I can just straight tank his BOC and still kill him. So yeah, that's the thing. That is a thing indeed. It's pretty funny. Next time I'll beta, I'll, I'll wait for his BOC. I'll start using axes and stuff. Cause you know, it, cause it was still kind of risky to be honest. Hello. Is Hatchet buffed? Not really. I mean, it, it technically was buffed, but it's, it's still memey. I'm just doing it for fun. You were doing your dream Warlock build? Is that what I read? Sorry, I missed the part of that. 41 Fizz, 117. That's pretty good. Good damage. die yet with this build i died one time before i stacked magic damage to a wizard and i was so distraught by dying to that wizard that i made this build instead and now i have not died yet i haven't been running it for very long though so i mean it's you know it's it's a little early to say oh like i'm flawless you know it, that's a little like disingenuous i think we're still kind of chilling right now going well though definitely going well not to take away from how well I think these games have been going. I think these are really valuable. This, I'm not, no joke. I think this is less valuable than this. I swear, this is 100 gold. This is probably in like the 200 gold range. I'm pretty goddamn sure I'm right there. Stack damn it. I'm stacking magic resist right now. I'm at 60% right now, which is pretty good. bet on the tattered cloak because i just sold a tattered cloak with two additional damage two additional magic and it was 100 gold i bet you this sells for more 
because I just I was looking at the prices of armor on loose trousers and they were selling for more money I'm, I'm almost positive even just base green loose trousers are selling for about the same as that cloak it's very very close unless the price has fallen don't blame me blame the game that, that's how the meta is green gear is better than blues oh jesus Christ. You would need to get poison weapons, smite, haste, and vis protection from evil on warlock. That would be a lot of grinding, which would be a lot of grinding to get that one. looting nightmare no I, I don't think any enemies are really worth looting at this point i just i just avoid them i don't really care pvp gear is worth a million times more than the like seven gold you're gonna get from a goblin it's, it's worth it in the early stages when you're still kind of building up your character Did you see how much he just ate? Did you see that? He ate like three hits. Did I get limb shots? Maybe. My job just ate the whole buffet. I had, it must have been weak hits or something. Hatchet moment? Yeah, probably hatchet moment, honestly. I think I think that is really, truly a hatchet moment. <laughs> Wait, that didn't oh I guess that doesn't completely does it? I thought it was uh I guess I was really low HP. GG coin, GG's. That was pretty close. He actually got me pretty low, all things considered. Hey. Oh, are you just gonna leave? Sir. He looks scared. He had colorful clothing. Why the hatchet? It's just for fun, man. It's just for fun. He's not geared. He just looked geared. <laughs> Big difference. All right, I, I am going to drop those because this is actually worth like these are worth pretty decent money.
I don't think this is really worth anything. I think this is almost worthless, I'm pretty damn sure. Um, I'm just thinking of what's worth grabbing here. A lot of it's not worth it, like at all. Yeah, even the cloak, it has armor on it, which is nice, but I don't I don't know if it's really worth grabbing. I don't know, I think I'm just gonna leave it and just call it here. I have a lot of stuff I still have to sell, so I don't really need more gear to sell. Truly. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just leave his gear. Oh yeah, the other lock, that's true. I forgot to check that kill. I didn't get a chance to. I got sidetracked. All these warlocks makes this build look like uh like it's working really well, doesn't it? I think I've fought. I think like four out of five fights have been have been magic users. So this build is doing exactly what it's supposed to, which is great. Where did I kill that guy? I don't remember. Wait, is this him? Oh, I got more magic healing. Shoot. Magic healing is really, it's pretty damn valuable. Okay, this was a pretty good game. Future damage is good. Agility ring is just good in general. Are purple crystal swords still selling for a lot? Or no, because they're purple, so people don't care anymore. Not sure on that one. Oh, we're gonna we'll just take damage, it's fine. Well, it's username? Uh we don't need to talk about it. We don't we don't need to talk about his name. <laughs> Tell us. I don't think this cloak is worth that much. Pretty sure it's worth like a hundred or two hundred gold. I'm just gonna drop it. The, the prices on cloaks are, are so whack right now. I genuinely don't think that's worth anything. Yeah, let's just get out of here. We have, I got so much stuff from this game. This was a great game. Yeah, all my gear memory from before this uh, patch happened is like out the window. Cause like there's so much gear that's not selling that used that used to sell and that sells now that used to not sell so i have to like relearn my marketplace shenanigans of what i'm trying to sell relearn all that i do know magic healing's good and i found three of them i think i think that's good at least unless it's changed i guess it could have changed i don't know plus one all is only valuable on certain pieces of gear i bet you this doesn't even sell for that much We'll see. Technically, it says it sells, but is it going to sell? I don't think it will. Kind of spellcast speed. I don't know. We'll just throw it up there. Wow. Crystal Swords, the purple ones have fallen in price by half because everybody stopped playing in the high roller games. That's insane. Well, I don't have the space to be holding on to these, so we'll just sell them for the lower price and we'll just kind of call it a day. That's fine. Someone else can buy these and use them up. I'd rather get them out in the market because maybe people will come into my games with crystal swords and I can just kill them. That'd be preferred. Oh my god, we have 13 trinkets that game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is so many. Most of those rings were decently valuable, I think. Even the bad, like, agility rings will sell. Because you can't get speed rolls anymore, so people were, like, fiending over this agility. Things have just- things have changed, man. Things have changed, indeed. Why is everyone spending so much money on greens? So they can smurf low to your lobbies.
I'm not in the low tier lobbies though. I'm in the uh, I'm in the, the higher tier one or the mid tier one, whatever you want to call it. Things done changed indeed, Halze. Things have done changed what feels like overnight. It's it's a little crazy how significant of a change things have the value of the market, like the value, the things that people are running, like everything is different. Thought for any to be more expensive. Though they're not Dragon Star. You know why? Dude, this is genuinely kind of a buff for geared barb. These frannies would have probably been at least 60 to 80 gold free, but everybody, no one's using green frannies because they're trying to get their gear system down or their gear score. So blue pots and frannies are getting cheaper as a result, which is good for me because I'm playing in geared lobbies. Oh, by the way, because people were asking, hold on, let me pull up these loose trousers so I can see if I was right on my, uh, my assumption. Yeah, look base loose trousers with no armor roll is 120 gold and let's look at that tattered cloak i had it was tattered cloak with two additional magic damage get wrecked i told you someone called me dumb i just there you go no armor roll the loose trousers are more expensive there you go told you told you sir i knew it was higher in armor 250 because people are smurfing uh armor stats in lower lobbies too it's all higher i don't think i have it anymore but yeah i guess i got rid of it but still there you go protection pots i can check i think they were 150 last i checked they were running 200 gold before that 160 which honestly is fine i'll buy those 160 is pretty cheap for those because they've been easy 200 for a while. Can I show my equipment? I can, Odyssey. Let me let me just finish selling some stuff and I will gladly show you my gear, all right? Let me get these spell books sold because I have three of them all with magic healing, so that should be pretty easy. Just sell them all for the same price. Damn, these are good money too. 300 per. Wow, and I got three of them in one game. Oh, that's one magic healing. I misread. I I, I misread. <laughs> I I did not read that right. All right, let's 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 try that again. <laughs> let's let's try that again. I swear I can read. I'm just gonna undercut it. I just want it out of my inventory. All right, I'll show my gear real quick. All right, uh, let me put these in. Okay. So I am running a mixture of move speed and MDR barb. This build hard counters warlocks and wizards in theory. Uh, maybe not hard counter, but it's, it's a soft counter. In theory, you should be winning. So I am running 60% uh, MDR, getting MDR from gloves, uh, torque of soul, dashing boots, and the uh, chest and our helmet. And then I'm running iron will to pop up to there. Uh, and then I'm running true damage on my uh, trinkets as well. These aren't really good trinkets. Like, you know, these are not, you know, will and knowledge is not helping me. It's just what I had on. So this kit isn't really like, it's kind of just hobbled together to work. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's really not much to this build. And then I throw in a hatchet with uh, axe specialization, uh, berserker, robust, and iron will. Of course, iron will. And I'm using Savage Roar to make my fights and melee a little bit stronger. No clerics? Not really. Cleric kind of sucks in solos now. I love seeing warlocks in these games. Does Dark Skelly skin give you flat 60? Um... Does dark skelly skin give you flat 60? 
Dark Skeleton Skin gives you 10 armor and then minus 10 MDR or magic points. Show trousers. Yeah, that I not show them. I can show you those. Yeah, I'm built for 399, uh, Jaffe. So I'm in the mid, I'm in like the middle tier bracket of gear. I think my gear score is like 350, but 150 of that is consumables. So yeah, my trousers are just, uh, I just have magic resist on them. All stats is what I had before, but I just wanted to go all in on the magic resist. And it has mo it has health on it too, which was okay. Yeah, those brackets now, Mac. Based on your total gear score. It's a hidden it's a hidden value that you can go to the wiki and like figure out from there. too hard man what was nerfed too hard the last time i came here i died to a rogue yep and that door is gone yeah i died i right it was a rogue sitting right here and i ran right into him look to uh oh he's on the other side of course was probably fun for him. <sighs> Better luck next game, Ranger. Better luck next game. Hey, look. Uh, 500 gold. I am I am slow walking. What do you mean? This is literally slow walking. Hey, that's good money too, I think. Sure, it's easy to kill rangers when I can just kind of like kill them for free. <laughs> uh oh, how to slow walk? I thought you were I thought you were telling me to slow walk. Uh, there's a button you can bind your uh, controller, or your controller, your uh, keyboard to. Sorry, man. Sorry, Keel. I don't play cleric because Iron Mace like basically ruined the class in solos. I don't really respect cleric anymore. I don't think it's a good class. Oh, yeah, yeah, Lion. I was like, are you telling me to slow walk? I was like, I already am slow walking. I was so confused. Yes, 0 to 199, 2 to 399, and 400 plus. There are three tiers right now. I was, I was thinking about the trap too. I was really scared. The last time I tried to sneak up on a ranger, I had a random ass trap. It did happen, but not this time. is not get out of here you know what i mean i have no respect for cleric the class i just don't think it's good it's it pains me i, I like cleric
Wow. He ate way more than I expected. And where's my surge kit? I don't have a surge kit. I'm so dumb. He that man ate. There's a, there's a healing shot in here. I'm gonna use it. That PDR. Jesus. Whew. That was a close one. I think the Chris did more damage than his magic did. Did he use the blue pot? I guess. No, I don't have armor pen. I have a lot of true damage. Wow, there's some money to be found on this guy's body. Making sure no one's sneaking up on me, man. I feel real paranoid with this creep still in the game. I don't know what gear he has that's valuable. I, I genuinely do not. I think this cloak is, I think. Because health is just a good stat in general, right? Peter's worth uh shield has 15 armor on it is that you think that's that's probably worth right are people still using uh purples i think it's worth more than the warden outfit shield's worth yeah all right we'll grab it i just don't know what to drop what do i drop here fellas i have no idea camp is 180 oh that's not too much maybe i should drop the cloak Warden. I think Warden's not really worth too much, to be honest with you. It's plus one all. And health. That is pretty good. But it ain't worth much. It's blue, though. Well, the gloves in the book are really good, guys. The gloves in the book... The gloves are good because it's green. People are paying for green stats. Although, you know what? The additional is probably not selling as much. I hate... I hate trying to loot. Maybe the, maybe the Chris. One set of gloves or one of these. There, it's done. It's done. We're good. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna have for an extra, I'm gonna have for the extract exit. I'm gonna have for the safer one. When I'm a lockpick anything? Oh, that's true. I don't really need the lockpick, do I? Yeah, honestly, lockpicks are useless now, aren't they? I, I noticed that like every chest seems to be pretty much open. Yeah, I, I could probably stop bringing lockpicks. Their, their value is pretty low. He gonna chase I want to extract I have a lot of gear on me
You think he, does he know I'm here? He sure acting like it. I thought he was gonna chase. He came over to me and then he just kind of ran away. Okay, interesting. No, the hatch is not really good. I'm just using it for the memes for fun. Also, everybody, if he like, if he comes through that door and he doesn't realize I'm here, I will, I should kill him. Cause I have good DPS. It's just hard to hit people. All right, whatever. I'm just gonna head for the static. I don't know where he went. post throw the hatchet that'd be funny i'm down no one uses this weapon anyway why not oh, i don't have a lot of healing on me hopefully this is open or it opens soon because i can't i guess i could sit down Dude, dude. That was a lot of that was a lot of uh That was a lot of money we just made there. That was insane. Oh my god, this ranger's camping the st This is why nobody likes rangers. This guy right here, Mr. Paul Arkin, is why nobody likes playing against rangers. Because they camp statics and they just wait. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's it, man. That's it. I don't know. I dude, his gear was wild, but it's it's the play style, not about his gear. It, it, it's it's wild. I don't know how people have fun doing that kind of thing. It's crazy. <laughs> If Iron Mace really want this meme rank and multi-class, maybe they'll make gear score indicator in game. In my opinion, if they really want this gear score to be in the game, it needs to be trans. It needs to be like in the game, like the information. I should be able to like gloss over like on the actual item. It should tell you how many points something is worth because right now the min like the min maxing is being done anyway, and it's through the wiki. So you might as well make it available in the game so the casual players can also do something with it. Because right now, it's like the sweats that have access. It's only the sweats. So it's actually dividing the line between casuals and sweats further by making this like arbitrary information through data mining and having to use like this, you know, it's just, it's way more effort than most people are going to go through, you know? So yes, I agree. Completely agree with you that that's probably how it, how it should be. Like if they're if they really want gear score in the game like this, then every it should have a value or show in the game. Whatever whatever it's gonna be, you know. Maybe maybe like there's a new stat page item. Like just add something here that says like gear score and it shows a number. That 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 would work too. You know, put it like right at this bottom area where no one really looks. Put it like near like the impact power or something. They absolutely also need to reduce the gear score of two-handers. Yeah, it's kind of weird that two-handers are weighted so off-handedly because it means that you can just kind of cheese one-handed weapons a lot easier. It's kind of weird. I think they did it so that way you didn't get super screwed by using like a like a shield and a sword. But it is it is a little bit weird because you know you just don't use a shield most of the time. At least you don't as Barb, and Barb is like the biggest winner in this patch. Well, lizard skin alone is borderline pay to win for this update. 
It's pretty damn good, man. It's pretty damn good. I'm not gonna use Barbichua. I think the uh, German Debu is better because it gives the vigor. All right, uh, I'm gonna just sell a little bit of extra stuff and then we'll be uh, good to go. Another magic healing spellbook. I mean, I'll just, I mean, I already know that was 299. Sure. Let's see if this heater shit was worth grabbing. I think it is, especially with the nerfed uh, armor values. Kind of makes the rarity a lot better. 13 an hour. I could probably just do like 249 and call it a day. That's fine. Viking Helm for agility. Well, the Viking Helm doesn't have uh, magic resistance, which is the whole point of this build. Without without the magic resistance on the helm, it, it just doesn't quite scale as well. So that's why I'm doing it that way. And Vigor also scales well with resistance. 13 an hour? What do you mean 13 an hour? Did I, did I say something or did I miss something? Am I trying multi-classing? I haven't really been uh, doing test server, so no, I haven't really done anything with multi-classing. Yeah, this stuff is not selling. I have, it does have health on it, but I'm still just gonna undercut it. Uh, Chris Dagger. This should sell because people are really going. I think Chris Dagger is still considered really good. And having weapon damage on a blue is quite strong. 26. Oh, but it's 26. Well, he's 26 to high roll. I think it is the high roll. So that's actually good. Probably worth more than I thought. 26 plus 2. Yeah, it's like 200 gold. That's pretty good for a two slot item. I'll take it. Oh, you're good. You're good, man. We got... We got plenty of value from that game. The min-maxing is unnecessary. I play this game for fun, man. I just... If I'm gonna play, I might as well farm gold, but like... It doesn't really... The gold doesn't really mean anything to me. I just do it to do it, you know? There'd be no point in playing this game if I wasn't, like, farming up gold. But I also don't really care about the gold. So... Kind of in like a whatever state as far as that goes all right uh healing pots yeah i think we're good to go one of my fences coming back i got a i got a few fences that need to give me gold actually i probably have like 30 or 40k gold waiting to come from fences right now minimum <sighs> surge kit I forgot the surge kit. Yeah, I forgot the surge it. I forgot the surge kit. Oh well. It's too late now. That sucks. Didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. It's a tough life. It's a tough life, man. Just kill someone for it? Yeah, hopefully. Could loot for it too, but I don't really loot. It takes a long time to open chests. That would, wouldn't that have been sick if I opened that chest and got a surge? I think... I think these guys can drop surge kits. I don't even be mad. I'm down for them. It's kinda dark in here, isn't it? How do you get a fence? Uh, I just ask people if they want to sell stuff for me, and then I give them some gold for it. I actually need- I'm actually gonna need a fence for this barb gear, because there's no way I can sell all this gear. It would take me too long. But I've already been in a, like a gear deficit of selling stuff because like the gear change that happened recently, a lot of my gear became useless. So I didn't really have anything to like fence off anymore. Yeah, 
Yeah, you could use collector or discord if you were trying to do it. I just use my stream. I'd rather get people to fence for me that are in my community personally than some random people in the collector discord. Well, poison's a rogue perk, not a, not a, not a skill. Hey, David, how you doing, man? I got heal box, but I need sur I need surge kits. probably lost like 80% of his health from two frannies. Do you think he has a surge kit for me? I think he does. Is it good with blood exchange? You mean like my villain? I mean, yeah, you could use blood exchange. I don't really like blood exchange. I don't like one-time use uh, perks or skills. That's why I don't like second wind, even though I know it's really good. Same reasoning. My guy doesn't have... My guy has all this gear and he doesn't have a uh, surge. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Unlucky, huh? Oh, at least I got a lot of extra heals. Oh yeah, this is a hundred gold. These might be more valuable than this. I think it is. Which is really funny, but that's how it is, man. Second one is only good on plate fighter. Uh, I see people use it on Slayer Fighter a lot. 40% health is a pretty big deal at one click of the button. A lot of HP. This guy does all right all right a toto let me let me tell you what i forgot i forgot my search kit there's a difference you think he forgot it too possible no you cannot get move speed on pants anymore if you could those would be mega bis right now too Well, you can't get agility on loose trousers. Loose trousers are already best anyway. But you're right. You, you can get three agility on other pairs of pants. slow you're kidding me the, the slow oh my god the slow that freaking guy man god damn it 
Oh, the slow man. Oh my god. He is so lucky. He is so lucky I got slowed there. Does the troll just does the troll just slow you across the entire field? Oh my god, man. I don't even know how I aggroed the troll. He should have had aggro. He he was in the room first and then it it shoehorned to me and it never changed. I don't understand why I'm the only one who ever had aggro. Oh, good lord. I feel like I, I think I just got RNG'd, fellas. That, that troll aggro went straight to me instantly. That's crazy. That is so unlucky. God damn it. Well, what are you gonna do? He dropped aggro at the spot at the door. Well, I went to that spot too, though. I went to that corner and it didn't drop aggro on me. So why didn't it drop for me? I literally went to that same corner he did and it did not drop. It still continued to follow me. So why why did I keep getting why did I keep getting followed and he didn't? That doesn't make sense. Because I know about that safe spot. It just didn't work for him or just didn't work for me. I feel cheated. I honestly feel cheated in that game. Uh, I'd rather have three agility than two damage. This build needs speed. Jesus, why are they so expensive? Probably because no one, no one grabs these. <laughs> That's probably it. You know, I don't even care about the gear. I just hate having to re-kit. It, it's just the time. It's such a waste of time having to like re-gear myself. <laughs> I think that's that's definitely the worst part. Oh, that's the wrong boots. Yeah, that's probably the worst part about this. I should probably sell those greens and just use blues. My rings are in such a disordered area. Whatever, it's fine. All right, uh, are we good? Oh no, I got a trash. I need to change my squire. I don't need this trash gear anymore. I'm gonna do that before I forget. I think that guy got extremely lucky because the like the troll didn't even de-aggro me when I went into that safe spot corner. It just continued to follow me. I, I think I got really, really unlucky in that fight. Like stupid unlucky. <sighs> One of those must be nice moments. <laughs> what a thing. Oh, 
know, I actually have more MDR somehow. I don't know how, but I do. This is ridiculous. Like, cloaks are worthless now. I don't even know why I'm grabbing them. It's like 100 gold a piece. Unless it's agility with damage. This will sell. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I, I don't, I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. Cloaks are so useless now. It's insane. All right. Did you play when Marketplace didn't exist? Uh, I just didn't use it. Yes, of course. Yeah, of course I played with it. Yeah, I've been playing this game since playtest era. You saw a cloak for 1500 yesterday? Well, what was it? Like, agility with damage? Because there's only certain cloaks that are selling right now. Agility, true fit. There you go. Told you. That's all that matters in this game right now. Agility, true fit, damage. And yeah, there's like no variety with gear anymore. Like every single piece of like gear is basically worthless unless it has that like true, like if it has damage and speed. Or like we're going back to that era of, of uh, we're going back to that point. I'm in 399 being. I couldn't have gear this good without uh being under. Too much utility. My utility is 150 points alone. I preferred the gear like it was last patch. I actually think the all stats, it wasn't even the problem. The additional damage is scaling people way worse than the all attributes was. The, uh, it's the 11 additional damage that's getting people like one shots or two shots. So like removing the attributes doesn't really do anything because like, yeah, I guess people are weaker, but People will just move on to building 11 true damage, which is exactly what we're doing now. Well, all stats was good for Bard, but they nerfed Bard. They nerfed Bard and then also nerfed all stats. So now Bard is like probably not very good now, I'd assume. It's also really weird that you can stack more or you can stack the same amount of true damage compared to regular damage because true is just generally better. Barb is fine. I don't know. I think Bard. Barb? I don't know. I don't. Maybe. If you say so. That sounds like Coke Gamma. Your, your, your like two best songs have been nerfed into the ground. Eight seconds, by the way. By the time you're done playing it, you gotta play it again. So have fun with that. I know you play bar, that's why I'm saying you're coping. It's like me it's like me trying to say that cleric isn't terrible in solos. Those song nerfs feel really bad to me from an outside perspective. I mean eight seconds is a that's a huge nerf for those songs. It's not that it takes you eight seconds to play a song. It's that by the time you like get finished playing those two songs, you're basically to the point of having to play those songs again. So it, like those two songs feel way, way, way too much like busy work. Solo Bard is probably done though. I don't know why you would play Solo Bard right now. You lost your all stats, you lost those buffs which are not viable in solo anymore. And then you also have this creep meta and you always know where somebody is, you know, when they're playing Bard. 
I feel like solo bard is not the play right now anymore. It was really strong, and now I don't think it is anymore. Yeah, I... There's some bards. I killed a bard earlier, but they're, they're pretty infrequent. Uh, bards are also hurt by gear-based matchmaking because their instruments count towards your score. And so you're not really going to see, like, geared bards unless you're in the really high ranks. Just play Barb. Barb is just way better right now for this gear-based thing. How I try messing with it? You mean Bard? Uh, I tried Bard when the creep change happened and then I stopped playing it because the creep change made me not want to play Bard. A turn of not being good except Warlock. Well, Warlock is still sitting pretty. They're, they're doing just fine, man. Oh, also, uh, Bard lost a lot of armor. Like, everybody lost armor, but Bard could scale armor pretty well with their, uh, their song. You can't... You don't really have to do that anymore. I think there's a player. I'm gonna wait. My, I'm gonna wait my 15 seconds to make sure there's not a rogue here in Viz. I don't trust it. I thought I heard steps. It's the rogue tax. So you gotta do it. And it's too easy for rogues to sneak up on you at creep. I think we're okay. Famous last words, huh? Oh, it is what it is. I don't know. I really thought I heard a player. Now I'm not sure. Must have been the win with my Skyrim NPC. If I got backstabbed by a rogue, then yeah, I'd basically be an NPC. you have to play songs more yeah but i hate playing songs it's a lot of work i don't know i my ptsd of rogues is really coming into play right now You can use this, the attack patterns. How can I use this? The attack patterns are bad. It is bad, but it's funny. I don't know, I just think it's fun killing people with this weapon. Songs and streaming is insane. There's no way I could do that. That would be such a pain in the ass. the BOC like it's nothing. I think we're safe to loot this body. I'm gonna shut this door though, just in case. Dude, I know, I saw the mage start to move and I heard, yeah, I, I got real scared. If that happened again, I would have been pretty sad. Are these good with, is, are, I don't know if these are worth anything with three agility. I'll grab them just in case, they might be. I'm not sure.
It's obvious by people's gear that not everybody uh, knows about the gear system. Like, I can tell just looking at this guy's gear that he definitely has no idea about the system. Not that it's surprising, but, like, still. Score tiers, uh, it's in increments of 200 points. Up to 600 for the final tier. Get bow streams up? Oh, that's funny. Well, that was my point I made earlier, Wicked, that because of the, because like not everybody's gonna be like min-maxing their gear, uh, the info for gear-based matchmaking should be like obvious for everybody. Uh, type in exclamation mark gear system, uh, McGeth, and you'll see how. You should see it. It's a, uh, it's a wiki link. Oh, I'm sorry, gear score. Gear score, Megath, not gear system, sorry. Gear score. My mistake. Oh. Well, I just added the bot command yesterday, but you're right, I could add a thing for it. He's just slithering around down there. No breathing here allowed. Gotta be quiet. Hey, logical. Thank you for the uh, the YouTube. Uh, membership, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. What the rogue doing? I don't know what the rogue doing. Where do you think he went? Could you do a high gear score lobby? Well, I'm already in a high score. I'm already in the high gear score lobby. Oh, you mean the high high gear score lobby? Well, I mean, I guess I could, but I feel like those lobbies are kind of dead, so that's why I'm not doing it. Also, there's not really any more gear I could add. I would just be adding, like, I would actually be, like, making my gear worse. Because my gear right now is pretty well rolled. So it wouldn't really make sense to do it. I don't know where that rogue went. Pavise doesn't work for Barb. It doesn't work. Because you can't equip it. There we go.
my refund. I didn't think he'd die that fast. He just kind of evaporated. I truly was not expecting that. Those mystic gloves are money? Oh, is that true? Are they? Take your word for it. You know what? I could do it for the static. I got some pretty, like, I'm pretty full now. Be good. Seven fifty? Jesus Christ. Just like, oh, okay. Sure. God. I'm gonna be here for a minute. No chances are being taken against this guy. Worst mob in the entire game, I think. trust it. I don't like those guys. I don't trust them. Damn it, man. God damn it. Now we gotta go all the way back. It has nothing to do with being soft, buddy. It has to do with the fact that my gear is already good. I would be actively, I would actively be making my gear worse by adding on random like gear. Like I would just be artificially raising it. The hell am I gonna do with that? There's no reason to. There's nothing to do with that. <laughs> Where's the circle? I don't remember. Oh, it's up here. Okay. I would have to actively spend a ton of gold just to get gear that's good enough to do it. Which isn't even, like it's not even worth it. I would have to buy legendaries with actual good gear because like my gear would just be worse. Like, do you guys understand this? I feel like you do and you're just not listening to me. change my gear out for legendaries i would have to find good rolls which would be very very expensive and not worth it for a hatchet build and if i were to put on legendary gear that like that has worse rolls i would literally just be making my gear like i would just be making my kit worse i i would actively be hurting myself It's, it's, it's not my it's not my fault that I don't build biscuits. This is literally the kind of builds that I always use. It's an iron mace issue, not a not a me issue. I have no interest in playing in those uh in those lobbies with people actually using this. We're already killing geared players. That's all good. We're, we've <laughs> what do you mean? We're already killing geared players.
Wow, that's a ring. Where do we get that ring from? Oh, from the uh, quest. That's a good ring. God damn. The amount of money that it would take for me to compete uh, in the higher lobbies would be a lot because it's already kind of an off meta kit and I would have to I would have to find like actively good pieces. I don't I don't I don't think you understand man how how much I would have to spend on this kit to actually compete and it make it make sense to be in those lobbies. I don't think there's a lot of players there man. I don't it's not it's not it's just not worth it. There's no one's really playing there. I just, I don't know. I'm just not really feeling it. Doesn't really make sense. I don't even think there should be three Qs, to be honest with you. Three Qs seems like a little excessive. Yeah, to be honest, if you want to, if you want to watch someone run around in bis gear and trash people, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> That, that that doesn't that isn't really the kind of comment the kind of content i make i usually this is the kind of gear i always run nothing's really changed just the system that's changed wow you were not lying that's funny that's that's hilarious. Do I have any more green gear I can kind of pawn off? Yeah. I want to sell all my green gear now, just in case uh, an update pops up that changes the system and makes greens useless. Right now, I am able, right now, the, the current games that I'm having and the players that I'm going against, I am at the point where I'm, I, no one is going to gear check me. Like everyone should be about equal to the gear that I'm currently running and probably at an advantage because I'm running a hatchet. So, I mean, being able to like not get gear checked constantly is, is pretty nice. Because I know the chance of me getting gear checked in these lobbies is almost zero. It's just skill. And that's why I'm not dying a lot because it's it's skill instead of just, you know, finding some guy with like 11 true damage and like super great gear that just insta kills me. <laughs> Makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Alrighty, fellas. Uh, good. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it is, uh, it is not entertaining to get gear checked in this game. And with the current system, like, normally it's fine because everybody's in together. So some people will be geared and some people won't be geared. But the only people that are going to be in that area are going to be very geared players. And it's probably not going to be a lot of them. So the few fights I do get, I'm going to be at a really, really serious disadvantage. <laughs> Kidding out of Barb. Yeah, that's a good that's another point too. Barb is not the play for the juice lobbies. I don't think I think Barb shines at low to mid-tier gear for solos, not for high tier, because other classes scale better. If I really wanted to play high tier lobbies, I feel like you should be playing my wit my warlock would probably be a good uh, a good play. Because there are probably not a lot of uh barbs up there. Horseman is probably better. I'm just using Hatchet for fun. 
Barb is definitely the white lobby king, for sure. The king. I mean, God. Do you know how hard it is to fight a uh, a juiced PDR fighter as a barb in solo? It's stupid hard. Just killing this guy is going to be hard. Yeah, I can't wait for that one, Chief. How much true do I have? Oh, God. I thought I had more true. I have a lot of additional. That ain't good. I don't really have armor pad on this build. He's what it is. I don't think David. No, I think Barb is better for white lobbies. Well, white lobbies. I mean, by white lobbies, I mean the. Uh, I mean like the low roller for HR. For normals, Demon Lock is best. Demon Lock's insane in uh, normal lobbies. That guy had a gray crossbow. He was min maxing gear to stay. Yeah, I think you're right, John. I think that guy I just spectated. He that is probably a min maxing fighter. I think you're right. I think I've only died two times this stream. I died one time uh, to that wizard before I started using magic resistance, then I died one time to the goddamn cave troll. <laughs> I think that's it. For I gotta say, for a hatchet stream, this is going pretty well. Oh, Jesus. I don't need your gear, uh, Jetmane. I don't really take gear from viewers. Yeah, some people think I just don't take gear, uh, like, for whatever, but I, I don't take gear just because I just don't, I don't know, it just doesn't really feel... I, don't know. I like to earn my own stuff. Appreciate it, man. I am gonna end stream here a little bit in a little bit. I got some stuff I gotta take care of. But I'll make dinner too after that. Bar bar, huh? Fight the barb. For glory, huh? Oh, man. GG, buddy. <laughs> Damn it. Freaking wizard, dude. The timing was so bad. There was nowhere to run. There, there, there's no, how am I gonna shrine? God damn it. All right, that's gonna be it. I got third party. That is what it is. 
I just blatantly got third party. I went up, I went up to use the shrine and he opened up that door at the worst possible spot. And I got blocked by like the 18 mobs. God damn it. Well, whatever. That was just super, super unlucky. Should I try to use the hell shrine? I mean, I guess. I don't know if that was, I don't know. I don't think, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think you guys would have played that much better. <laughs> GG everybody. I'll catch you later. Thank you for stopping by at the stream and drop a like before you leave over on YouTube. See you guys.